how to destroy the nurse. The nurse has an extremely powerful ability that lets her ignore basically any loop and quickly close the gap to any survivor. So how do we counter her? Well, the first step, and the most important one perhaps, is to reduce her ability to pressure multiple people. The nurse is uniquely strong at turning groups of survivors from healthy to injured and from injured to dead. And to prevent this, you should keep the following principles in mind. When repairing, split up and work on gens across the map. If you work on gens that are very close to each other, you will be incurring in a massive risk. And even if you get away with it, this will often result in a three gen elsewhere that will be very difficult to break later on. And when healing, doing it as a group can be okay if it's gonna be fast and you're pretty sure that you can get away with it. But if possible, it's better to heal by yourself to reduce the risk and avoid grouping up. Keep in mind that once the nurse is onto you, she is a tremendously oppressive killer in chase. You're not expected to win your chases against her. Instead, your objective is mostly to waste her time and take her as far away as possible from the action. When deciding where to take the chase, keep in mind that open areas are very easy for a nurse to track you in. Even very clumsy nurses will often down you in just mere seconds. When possible, try to avoid these and instead take the chase to places with high walls and tall obstacles. Breaking line of sight against Nurse is the most important thing that you can do in chase, period. Unlike other killers, Nurse is actually slower than you when she's not using her power. And for this reason, ending a chase by the edges of the map can be surprisingly viable against her. Most outdoor maps have tall structures that can be huge time wasters for her if played even a little bit correctly, and typically going down here means that she'll still waste an extra time hooking you and getting back into the action. Most average nurse players are not aware that their own camera movements can telegraph their next move and betray their intentions. If you notice this, you can use it against them in chase by seeing where they're gonna blink before they actually do it. But do watch out though, because the really good nurses will often fake looking at a direction and then quickly flick to another one last second, so this wouldn't work against them. Eventually, the nurse will catch up to you, and when trying to dodge an incoming blink attack, your timing has to be incredibly precise. It will take a lot of practice to get there and know exactly when and how to move, but no matter what you do, don't always keep doing the same tricks. Whether you run a straight line or do a U-turn or pretend to do one, keep mixing it up so that they actually always have to second guess what you're gonna do. On top of doing all of this, a huge part of outplaying a nurse is to understand her limitations. Let's talk about some of them. For example, after using her power, the nurse has a cooldown of variable length before she can use it again. If she's only done one blink, she will go through a short fatigue where she looks downwards and then recharge her power almost immediately. In this situation, you do not have time to do anything. You need to be ready for another attack very, very quickly. But if you notice that she does extra blinks and even misses an attack, this will incur a longer fatigue and her two blinks will actually take longer to recharge. This means that you should probably keep making distance before she's ready to strike again. Keep in mind that the nurse can teleport through most obstacles and walls, but she cannot teleport through the edges of the map. Sometimes these edges go inwards into the map and you can use them as part of your chase since you know for sure that she cannot easily blink through them. Once a nurse has charged up a blink, she can never cancel it. So if you run into them, they will typically aim at their feet to blink in place and try to hit you. However, if you do this when they're on a second floor, they can't really do it easily as if they look down, they'll go to the bottom floor. This also works if you're above basement, which is really, really funny. You can really mess with a nurse in these situations. Another interesting quirk about the nurse's power is that she cannot blink on top of your exact location. And this is something that you can take advantage of in chase. Instead of leaving a gap between you and the loop, which would allow her to squeeze herself in and then hit you, you actually want to loop very, very tightly against walls. And if she doesn't blink perfectly, sometimes her blinks will be canceled because she runs out of space to teleport to, which can buy you quite a bit of time. Aiming a flashlight at the nurse's body, even if you don't blind her, will stun her if she's charging up a blink and prevent her from blinking altogether if she's not. You can use this in endgame situations to try to harass the nurse and buy time for your teammates, or if you're very confident, you can use it in chase for yourself by aiming at the place where the nurse will land and preventing her from doing a follow-up blink if you find yourself in the open. Flashbangs and firecrackers can also be used to burn her. You can throw them at your feet if you're expecting her to land near you from a very long distance blink, or you can also use them around corners. Most experienced nurses will never really try to guess where you are behind a wall, and instead will teleport to the last position that they saw you before you turned a corner. And you can use this against them by dropping a firecracker or a flashbang right as you go around the corner, which will often catch them off guard and blind and burn them. 
One really cool fact about the nurse is that she's routinely played in tournaments and competitive events, so you can actually find a lot of footage of really good nurses against really good survivors and learn from these survivors to see what it is they do to keep even really strong nurses at bay for a little while. I will leave some links in the description if you want to see some examples of high level play, but I'm sure you can find your own. Learning from these players and developing your own tricks is very satisfying, but ultimately it will do you no good unless you also avoid key mistakes that players often make against a nurse. For example, do not zigzag or move erratically while the nurse is recharging her power. This only wastes your own time, makes you create less distance and doesn't make it any harder for her to hit you. You should use straight lines and make sure you get behind cover and only dodge at the last second when it actually matters. That being said, Spinning around trees and small obstacles if you're about to be hit is a good idea, as nurse players have a bit of a tendency to sometimes get stuck and hit these obstacles instead of you. Remember that the nurse cannot be pallet stunned during her fatigue, so don't try to do it or you're gonna be left looking like a fool. If you are injured, going for crazy jukes or going into a locker last second can be an okay attempt at desperately extending the chase a few seconds. But do not do these things when you're healthy. It's very likely to backfire and actually lose you a lot of time in total. Keep in mind also that anything that allows you to heal yourself, especially multiple times, is really, really good and a massive resource for your team. Do not waste your medkit and do not bring the killer straight to a boon because this can actually hurt your team a lot. And also, never drop from a window in chase. Even if the nurse only has one charge, it is extremely easy for her to go right on top of you and hit you during your recovery unless you have balanced landing. Avoid these windows, they're just not very good. And another thing that you should avoid for sure is doing early game ultra unless you are 100% sure that it's going to work. Trying to go for flashy saves, pallet saves, body blocks is extremely risky and difficult at the early stages of the game, and it will often result with you and your entire team going down. So yeah, keep that in mind and everything else, and next time you play against the nurse, your odds will be a lot better. Who knows, maybe you'll actually turn the tables and start kicking their ass for once. Good luck.